SpaceX Starship SN8 has undergone almost all the necessary testing and is now ready for its ambitious 15km flight. Starship SN8 will be the first full-size Starship prototype to achieve flight and also it will be the first Starship prototype to use three Raptor engines. On November 24th, Starship SN8 did its third static fire successfully. Shortly after the successful static fire, Elon Musk wrote on Twitter, Good static fire for Starship SN8, aiming for a 15km altitude flight next week. Goals are to test three engine ascent, body flap, transition from main to header tank, and landing flip. After third static fire, engineers at SpaceX have been accessing the data and condition of Starship SN8. And looking at the closures at Boca Chica, it seems that flight can happen between November 30th and December 2nd. However, while answering some questions on Twitter, the SpaceX CEO did confirm that the 15km flight for Starship will happen no earlier than Wednesday. The Starship SN8 is slated to undergo another round of static fire on Monday, that is November 30th. All said, the 15km hop will most likely take place on Wednesday if all goes according to plan. A several kilometer flight has been on Musk's wish list for years. In October 2017, back when the Starship was still known as BFR, Elon Musk said that the company aims to hold short hops of few hundred kilometer and lateral distances. In August 2019, Elon Musk repeated the objective and said that SpaceX planned to do a 20km flight with the first prototype Mark 1, which was unveiled in September that year. It may have taken some year to get here, but the success of the SN8 15km flight are quite slim. A lot of things need to go right in order to land the ship in one piece. In response to a question about whether he thinks the ship will land in one piece, Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that a lot of things need to go right, so maybe one third chances. He also added that this is why they have Starship SN9 and SN10. SpaceX have regularly made changes and improvement in the Starship prototype. Elon Musk also added that the new versions of Starship have more robust wirings, engines are more mature, nose cone is also sealed better. However, some major changes are going to happen in Starship SN15 and with the recent pace of development, we can expect to see Starship SN15 in few months time. The success of this flight could dictate the schedule for the coming missions. SpaceX planned to use Starship to send humans to Mars in mid-2020s, the first step towards establishing a city on Mars by 2050. When asked about SpaceX's plan to test refueling technologies, including portable fueling plants, Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that his team would maybe start on that a year from now, adding that it depends on how Starship progress goes. It has taken time to reach at this point, but the end result a fully reusable ship that can send 100 people or 150 tons into space at a time could have a profound impact on the space industry. So that's all for today's video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.